Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties, go to the controller tab over here, select disable Steam input. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. If that does not work, you can even try enable Steam input and then check. But for many users, disabling Steam input has worked. So try this and then check. And then you have to relaunch the game. If that does not work, you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to select controller in gameplay settings. So launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options. Now, once you go to options, now go to game settings. So over here, you can see gameplay. So click on gameplay over here. Now, once you go to gameplay, over here, you might see input mode and this might be set to mouse and keyboard. In that case, you can select your controller. Once you select your controller, hit apply. And then save the settings. Now you can check the performance. Now you can check the controller. Now the next step is to Ubisoft Connect users add the game to Steam. So if you have the game on only Ubisoft Connect, in that case, you can add the game to Steam and then launch the game. So you can click on add a game over here on the bottom left and then click on add a non Steam game. And then you can click on uh, if you see the game in the list, you can select the game. If you don't see the game, you can click on browse and then you can go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder, select the exe file. And once the exe file is selected, this is just an example. You can select the exe file, click on add selected program. The game will be added over here. And once it is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. Now for Steam users at the top right here, you can see enter the big picture mode icon. So click on enter the big picture mode icon. And once Steam is in big picture mode, so now you can launch the game from here. So you will see the game from here and you can launch the game when Steam is in big picture mode and then you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to close the game, update the controller using the PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. So if you have Xbox uh, controller, in that case, you can open Microsoft Store and then you can just search Xbox accessories app. Just type in Xbox accessories and then go to Xbox accessories, install it. In my case, it is already installed. Now, once installed, open Xbox Accessories app and then connect your controller using the USB cable. You have to connect your controller using the cable so that you can see these three dots. In my case right now, I will connect my controller using the USB cable. Once it is connected, the three dots will be highlighted over here. And then you can click on three dots and then you will see an option to update your controller. So this may uh, take a couple of seconds. If it's not coming up, open once again and then you can click on this three dots over here and then you will see an option if update is available you will see update option update it and then you can just it will up, apply the update this process will take some time and once this is done now you can check now if you have the like if you have the ex, uh, like playstation controller in that case you can Install this PlayStation Accessories app. If not installed, you can search in Google, go to PlayStation website, and then you can just download this PlayStation Accessories app from PlayStation website. Once the download is complete, run this exe file, and then you can open this PlayStation Accessories app and connect your controller. Now, once your controller is connected, uh, you, you will see update option. So launch this PlayStation Accessories app and once you connect the controller, you will see your controller. And if it is not uh, like, if, the con if it is not up to date, you will see update option. And once updated, in my case, it's installing these things. Once it is open, you can you will see your controller, hit update and then check. Now, the next step is to make sure that connect your uh, controller using the USB cable while updating your controller using Xbox Accessories app. Now, PlayStation controller user, you can use this DS4 Windows. So in, in Google, you can just search for DS4 Windows and you can just install it and then you can configure uh, your controller and then check. 
unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected if you have extra controller connected sometimes we have a dongle connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like visual you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game the last step is to use wired connection so if nothing is working you can connect your controller using the usb cable and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel